Sanji and Zoro are the two straw hats that are regarded as the strongest crew under Luffy. The two are not less popular than Luffy. In a pirate crew, every crew has its own tasks and roles, and it happened in the straw hat pirates as well. Zoro and Sanji are both unique leaders in straw hats. So between Sanji and Zoro, who deserves to be vice captain? Ichiro Oda appears to have deliberately depicted the two figures in two different ways, protection and strength. Neither of the two is greater than the other. Often fans compare between the two which is the greatest, when in fact the two different traits complement each other in the group. In addition, they are also able to become their own version of leader when Luffy is not around. Sanji has the nature of a teacher. This can be seen from the moment when Sanji replaced Usopp against Jabra. Sanji didn't kick Usopp to do anything else. But he checked and analyzed the situation and then looked for the best way out of the situation. That moment made Usopp realize that he has an important role in the Straw Hat crew and he is someone who can help in his own way. Zoro, on the other hand, is more concerned with action. He was the one who usually entered the battle first and this recklessness often led the rest of the crew to follow suit. They see Zoro as someone who is not afraid of death and they have nothing else to do but admire that. We can see an example when Zoro attacks Ors or Birdcage. In those two moments Zoro initiated the attack. Some fans think that Zoro and Sanji are Monkey D. Luffy's sword and shield. As the sword of Luffy, it's only natural that Zoro then becomes Luffy's right-hand man. The two of them do have a special bond compared to the bonds with other Straw Hat crew. Zoro really believes in Luffy as a strong figure and can do whatever is needed. As long as Luffy can do it, Zoro will always be there and ready to help Luffy make things happen. Whenever Zoro shows his leadership qualities, it is always directed at Luffy. Zoro makes sure that Luffy sticks to the standards, and it seems that Zoro has been doing this until now. Unlike Zoro, Sanji shows his leadership to the other crew. The obvious example is as mentioned above, he didn't tell Usopp what he should do. Sanji only reminds what he can do. So, the conclusion is that both Sanji and Zoro have their own roles and goals in the One Piece story. Oda has built the connection between Luffy and Zoro and Luffy and Sanji in their own way to differentiate how the two led the Straw Hats in Luffy's absence. They are both willing to do anything for the captain. Zoro is willing to sacrifice his pride to be able to train with Mihawk. Sanji is willing to sacrifice his masculinity to train with Akuma and Ivankov. These two are truly extraordinary characters and they are also true wings of the Pirate King. So it can be concluded that Sanji and Zoro are just as good as vice captains. It's just that they have their own way of solving problems.